My name is Jay Bennett, and today we're going to do a segment for preseason skiing or pre competition mode of learning to be balanced and standing centered on our jump skis. We use a drill we call the crane. The crane drill we will start at about 24 to 26 miles an hour, depending on your level of stability on the jump skis. This is teaching you how to stay centered on the skis and creates a drill for you to be balanced on your skis. So Regina's going to show you that she's going to move outside the way, this being the center line. She goes out about 30 feet or so, 45 degrees to the boat, running the boat speed at about 24 to 26 miles an hour. Now she's going straight down the lake. She raises her left ski, de-weighting the left ski. Now she's in a crane position. She drops her hip away from the load of the boat or the pull of the line and she starts skiing back through the lakes. And the objective is to stay centered, not have a lot of upper body motion, keeping everything nice and still and making sure you're riding the ski closest to the boat or the inside ski through the lakes without ever putting weight down on this left ski, okay? She comes across the lake and she goes into a little coast. She allows her speed to slow down. This is not a drill that you rush. She sets this ski down. Now she's slowing down, she raises this ski, and she goes back across, using the ski closest to the boat, keeping this ski up through the wakes, edging back through the wakes, keeping everything nice and centered, no upper body motion, staying in one solid isometric, and this is the crane drill that we teach to create better balance on your jump ski. Okay, as we go through this segment on the crane drill, some common questions that may be asked by the people watching this and trying to learn from it is, to make sure where you're looking. When you're cutting back through the wakes, it's very easy to allow your shoulders to roll down, your eyes to go down, and be looking at the wakes. That's not what we want to be accomplishing. We want to keep the shoulders up, shoulders still, eyes and head looking across. That's one common question that's asked. Another thing that you'd be concerned about because it is jumping, what are we doing at 24 to 26 miles an hour with the jump switch? The jump switch is not very important in preseason training to learn how to stay balanced in the crane drill. So we recommend not using the switch whatsoever. I want you to be able to create your load without having to adjust to what the switch does. Another common question is whether or not you would use the sling in this drill. I recommend you not using the sling in the drill if the, in the first process of learning how to do the crane drill at 24 to 26 miles an hour. My advanced jumpers can do the crane drill at their maximum speed. Once you start creating the boat speed, then we like to add the sling into the equation. Okay, as you can see in Patrick's video, he's starting out at the basic speed with taking very little angle, but he's really doing a good job on holding his position through the wakes. For us to take it to the next step, you will go a little wider out on the wake and come back in with a little bit more aggression and a little bit harder edge and just build from that. Thank you for watching this video. Regina and I have enjoyed being able to give you this segment on how to become a better jumper. So American Water Ski Association is putting out a tremendous amount of effort to bring value to you, the member, to watch these videos. And we hope you enjoyed what we did today. Thank you.